We're living in an amazing time in healthcare, truly a transformation in terms of our ability to, to extend people's lives, to improve the quality of care. The history of, of telemedicine has really been about access to care. Now that I have the access to Ontario Telemedicine, I'm able to see people uh, wherever they are. If I wasn't able to use the OTN video platform, these people would not have the access to this kind of therapy anywhere else. OTN is one of the uh, larger telemedicine networks in the world. Telemedicine extends to about 1,600 sites across the province, and we have about 3,000 uh, hardware-based platforms. Last year in 2011, we had just over 200,000 patient consults across the network. We create uh, really an infrastructure, if you will, that allows all the health providers and organizations across the province to participate in telemedicine. Our goal as OTN is to uh, make the technology and make the experience as simple as possible. One of the things we've been doing a lot of thinking about is really how to make the technology more available and more ubiquitous. And of course, that's where uh, software-based video conferencing has been a very powerful solution. Our clinicians wanted to have a solution where they could use uh, a personal video conferencing right from their clinic or from their hospital or from their home and that required mobility, both from personal computers, Mac computers, or mobile devices. I have uh, provided OTN-based uh, uh, addiction medicine counseling through the traditional desktop, as well as through the laptop. So I can be at home, or I can be at another clinic uh, without a camera, and it allows me to be able to see a patient right away. Mary, you're doing great. What kind of skills are you employing to avoid relapse? I'm avoiding uh, being with people, places and things that may trigger me to want to use the drug. We wanted a solution which would work both for users who are behind hospitals' secure networks or for those who are in remote locations uh, whose bandwidth may not be adequate. And the solution had to be resilient that if this bandwidth was to be very narrow, the communication should still be on and it should be adequate for clinical use. We're looking mainly at three criteria while making this decision. The first being that any solution for personal video conferencing would work with our legacy room H323 systems. Two was that a user could use this over internet. And three, uh, a solution where it could integrate with the portal that we were building. A solution which could offer us APIs so that we can completely control the behavior of the software and the solution. The video uh, platform allows us high quality uh, communication and it allows us to forget about the medium and just get to the meat. The kind of counseling that I can provide, the psychotherapy that I provide, is equally as, effect as effective as when I see somebody in my office. The use of OTN for the treatment of uh, addiction is actually a, a standard of care now. I'm very comfortable using OTN and I'm confident that it's an excellent way to deliver addiction medicine care. The addition of uh, software-based solutions to our network is you know, a very important layer uh, that extends uh, reach out into the community. With new lower cost um, PC-based endpoints, we can now expand access to care uh, to a wider variety of patients across a, a wider variety of um, medical and uh, healthcare disciplines. The video technology allows patients to have their cases reviewed uh, very quickly. Treatment is expedited. People can access me right away. Telemedicine is about communication and collaboration. We could have a family involved, we could have patient involved, we could have another practitioner involved in the uh, same consultation. That's the big thing that's the game changer in telemedicine right now. Now it's expanding beyond the major, major institutions to everyday use becoming more of a mainstream tool. And that's what putting it on PCs does for telemedicine. When it comes to scaling the solutions to thousands of clinicians, primary care physicians, and patients, we required a solution which was costing hundreds of dollars and not thousands of dollars. And that's what a PC-based solution, a software-based solution gave us. And certainly, that's made it a lot less expensive uh, given us a lot more options and we think will lead to uh, much greater ubiquity of telemedicine availability as time goes on.